So the experience I'm going to cover in this video literally changed my whole perspective of focus and its influence on my productivity. Here I want to tell you about a story from my time at university. While arguably one of the most stressful and difficult experiences I remember in my life, it was one where I felt I learnt more about how focused effort influenced productivity when under pressure than any other. In this video I want to explain precisely why this is, and what you can do to help you get similar benefits in your life. So it was my final year in university as a computer science student, everything I had spent working years towards was culminating to its conclusion. The final year students had to write a dissertation and on my course you also had to create a program on which your dissertation was based. After months of work I was on track to get it in on time and honestly, while I would have liked to have been slightly further ahead, there was nothing to concern me. Well, that was until they loaded us with 5 other projects in the final 3 weeks before the deadline. My whole plan to get my dissertation done crumbled around me and my confidence was shattered. As a result, I was working around the clock trying to juggle all of the projects, and while I progressed through the others using methods of chunking and time blocking, completing my dissertation was proving to be a challenge. I reached the final week before the deadline and still had a mammoth task to get it done. By this point I wasn't getting much sleep, roughly just a few hours a night, and was pretty much working in a haze. I would got to a point of exhaustion and honestly couldn't solve one last problem in my code. Then I had the strangest experience, while sleeping the answer came to me, and it felt almost like a transcendental moment as I remember seeing the code floating in front of me and everything just aligned perfectly. The solution was there and I could see it. At this point I got straight out of bed onto my laptop reworking my code and lo and behold it worked. Finally, deadline day was here and I had minutes to get my work handed in. Despite all of the stress and while in a desperate rush, I made my way to the campus to get everything in. I did it, done, literally with a minute to spare. Here's the thing, when the results came back I got a great score on the dissertation but I've always wondered how the solution came to me as it did in a dream, and I think the answer comes down to what's called the reticular activating system. The reticular activating system, or RAS, is a bundle of nerves at our brainstem that filters out unnecessary information to allow us to focus on what's important to us. If we didn't have it, then we would be overwhelmed by our senses at any given moment. Think about it this way. When working on something you might have some background noise in the office or at home, however it's our reticular activating system that allows us to maintain focus on our work, rather than getting distracted from the little noise in the background. This enhancement of processing of sensory information can lead to improved cognitive function under noisy conditions, where irrelevant stimuli might normally impair your performance, something that would have been particularly important in sensing danger in the wild and this is precisely what happened when I was working on my dissertation. Despite tiredness, my brain was constantly focused on the problem I was trying to solve, and it prevented me from being distracted from it. But where the reticular activating system is incredibly powerful is that it goes through a process of using information you've acquired to validate your beliefs. In my case, I had a clear intent on reaching a solution to my problem and the RAS helped me to reach that point because it organised the information I had gathered to help me see the solution. This is because the reticular activating system links to the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex plays an important role in higher level cognitive processing, including planning, decision making, self control, acting with long term goals in mind, and problem solving. It's the last point that is of particular importance in this instance, as when you learn to focus your mind on a particular goal, then the combined efforts of the RAS and prefrontal cortex can help you find solutions to complex problems. And if you remember, I said I was actually sleeping when the solution came to me for my coding problem. This is most likely because I was in the REM stage of sleeping, which is essential to cognitive function and can help with memory, learning and creativity. Again. This is all linked to activating the prefrontal cortex, which is why when we usually wake up we're often ready to tackle difficult problem solving tasks. Put simply, without realising it at the time, 
When working on my dissertation in the last week before the deadline, I inadvertently put in place factors to help me achieve my goal. As I worked in alignment with how the brain naturally processes information and comes to solutions. This was critically first and foremost because I had intently focused on completing the project and allowed myself enough rest, even if inadequate, to achieve my goal, as my brain had the chance to process the information I was getting. Now, I'm not saying you should be working around the clock and averaging 3 hours of sleep a night, I know for a fact I don't ever want to be in that position again. However, Learn to get focused efforts on those things you want to prioritise, learning and writing about the subject and keeping in the forefront of your mind what you intend to achieve. In addition to this, give yourself rest and make sure you get plenty of high quality sleep to allow the brain to process the information you learn. While initially this might seem somewhat unproductive as solutions don't come instantly, what's impressive is that the brain has a way of reaching the solution that you need just as I found back at the university in the last week before handing in my dissertation. Be sure to check out the video on screen now for more on your personal growth, increasing productivity and developing a growth mindset for massive success.